Game one. Rob versus Banjo. All right. Yeah, I really want to see how Rob Nair kind of affects this matchup because, uh, as you're saying, in the uh, the duck hunt matchup, like Rob was able to kind of use Nair to keep himself safe from the projectiles. But I wonder if it works similarly versus uh, Skew's options. Yeah, so Ski right now really trying to catch uh, Jocelyn over committing. Finally does get the over commitment with the, the back dash. Uh oh. Oh no. That's it. At Oops. like 40 before hit. Uh, like 40 to 50 before hit. Very, very good stuff to Jocelyn. Able to take the stock early because like, Banjo's the heavier character. So if you can if you can kind of delete that stock early, that's a lot of a lot of leeway you just gave yourself. Yeah, and yeah, we didn't really see that in the Duck Hunt match because Duck Hunt projectiles were able to like keep Rob away so like he wasn't able to like get in that situation where he was able to get him close and like meet for that confirm. Yeah. But like Skew right now really making us uh make himself his presence known. Just like alright you know I may have lost this first talk but I can just keep on winning neutral and he really is winning neutral putting him just in such a bad position. Can he get this stock? Yes he, he can. Phenomenal use of the Wonder Wing in order to uh call out the start of the laser. Cause like also the fact of the matter is that if you catch Rob doing full laser, that immediately resets it to do in half laser. All right, good mix-ups coming off that ledge. Yeah, good wonder way. Oh, see, I like that. I like the the weight right there. Like knew he was gonna like press an option like side B and then, like opted to like reposition himself and then go for the punish. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, very even game despite the, the early stock Jocelyn was able to take, but back at a very scary ledge position using the start. Uh, the start wow, ability. a fantastic retreat, retreat back onto the stage, yeah, causing it to get the kill. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, catches the jump. Nice right there, there. Really dunks it. All right. Yeah, so, sorry, my dad just walked in, so, so it just threw me off pace. Anyway, speaking of being thrown off pace, uh, Skew really p being put on the back foot with that back throw. Oh, and he accidentally wasted a Wonder Wing right there, so now he has only three more Wonder Wings left in the game. Now two. Oh, nice. Wow, that was looking really, really clean right there. Yeah, like, Jocelyn right now is just playing, trying to play the game of poking at him, but like, I just feel like the way Jocelyn plays is he plays a lot better when like when he's able to kind of get the up close boxing uh boxing scenarios where he's able to you know kind of just put you in 50 50s where if you guess wrong you either take fit you take 50 or you die apparently someone in the chat knows Lou. <laughs> all right great stuff getting getting the down set up that was a comeback, man. For some, for some reason, I thought that was going to be like the weak hit from the side B. Yeah, that's weird. Like, toward the very end, that side B does have a weak hit. But, like, for the most part, that strong hit is so, so strong. And, uh, like, a lot of times, um, uh, he just, like, side B in scenarios where, uh, Jostathan would be trying to, like, charge up a projectile, a throw out a projectile. So I feel like that's something that Jonathan has to wa watch out for. Like he either has to, you know, play more shield heavy and more like, more using his normals when he's when he's in side B range, uh, or just you know project out outside of side B range. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna off the corner back again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing is that like Jonathan does like the, this plat, both the side platforms and this, these platform setups. It's just. Uh, right there, he just keeps like, like he'll throw out a, a projectile and then he'll get Wonder Wings for it. Wow. And that does like, a lot of percent even if it doesn't kill. Yeah, we're seeing very uh, similar um, banjo styles to like that of Unleashed in Q right now, which is how he's playing. Really getting a lot off like the Regal Blaster confirms and able to space and like set up with the Hedger. Although right now he's going to eat him up air. Lost his Taking the, the early kill. 
very, very, very important for uh, Jocelyn because, like, as, as we stated earlier, the fact that like Banjo is a heavier character is you have a lot more room to work with. Yeah, he can follow with that mix up again. Probably opted to, like, maybe he's in the back throw. No, nope, he's in down throw. And, like, he can catch the first and not match and he gets the kill for that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so he, he does he does have Skew stuck on this platform. Let's see if he can continue this pressure scenario because, like, it really seems like having Skew on those platforms really limits the options that he uh, he can go, that Skew can go for. Ooh, nice. Wait, yeah, he did a slight dash in to see what Skew did, and Skew didn't press a button, so he, 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 he was very confident that he could get an up tilting. Oh, wow. The grenade barely misses him. Alright, Justin, able to kind of even up this game. But without Gyro, uh, Gyro around there, he, he only has laser to rely on, and laser does have like a little bit of charge time. Oh, the grenade actually exploding on him. Ooh, smart stuff. Yeah, saving his double jump so that he makes up uh, the upbeat. That's something I see a lot of the higher level Robs go for. Yeah. Jocelyn right now is like slowly nickel and diming his, his way like back. I was gonna say, Skew is like just seems to be so much more comfortable in sealing up these stocks than, than uh, Jocelyn is. Ah, oh, dies to say, yeah, I see he's died to that like a lot. Like, mm -hmm. he's, yeah, I wore the last team. Like, I think that's how he also lost all the stocks being up from there. Right now, Skew is looking pretty good in terms of his movement and like moving around the stage. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, juggling with the air. Trying to put him in the, the ladder combo that looks so cool when people hit. Oh, almost puts him in a wobble. And this could be, and this could be, um, oh, I was gonna say, it could be Blood Trap, but he ain't gonna get back on stage. My skew is so adept at, like, playing around with Robbish Gyro. Like, yeah, he, he throws at him, and then he just picks it right back up, and now Jocelyn does, has no, uh, Nothing to work with, but this could be very bad for your skew. He had to burn two Wonder Wings in that scenario. Yeah, there's two more left of the whole game. Gyro just didn't respawn. Could have been very bad for him. <gasps> oh, oh that's, the that's not gonna be it though. Oh, damn. Yeah, Wait. Skew keeps getting put in a bad scenario, but the thing is, like, uh, Jocelyn is not able to kind of steal the deal. I'm surprised that hitbox didn't hit him before we hit the up tilt. That usually, that's, that's weird. I don't know if uh, something happened there. Alright, we could. Alright, he has um, one more Wonder Wing. He has oh, no man. more Wonder Wing. We could maybe see um, him maybe opt to go for down throw right now. It's up to oh, oh, wow. Behind. No need. Gets the forward air. So we're going to take that. All right. Oh my gosh, we get the gah too. We got <laughs> what a, perfect timing. We got a banjo and a bayonetta in winners finals of this tournament. This is going to be a very interesting day, folks.